Man, a recent survey from Edward Jones shows more Americans than ever are this close to a financial disaster. Trisha Hendricks is joining us live this morning. She's actually breaking down the numbers and she has some hope to help us all get ahead. Good morning, Trisha. Good morning, guys. About two in five Americans say that they don't have emergency backup funds in place to last them more than a month. So clearly there are simple things that we need to do to help financial wellness and keeping that backup fund isn't an easy task for many Americans. In fact, 64% of 2000 U.S. consumers surveyed in a recent lending tree survey actually admit that they're living paycheck to paycheck, at least periodically. And almost half of those surveyed, 46% say they live this way all the time. Financial experts suggest creating a three to six month emergency backup fund by saving more and spending less whenever you possibly can. Then once you've been able to solidify that backup fund, you can focus on tackling your debt. Sometimes there's a cutting of the cord. Sometimes there's some things we have to do. If there's a net loss there, we got to look at that. Either we're going to increase our income or reduce our expenses, but it's not magic. There has to be some sort of work there. That work is where it all happens, right? So what did the numbers show in that recent survey from Edward Jones in Morning Consult? Let's take a look at the numbers. It shows more than 9 in 10 Americans. 93% view financial wellness as important, but nearly half or 43% don't feel financially stable. And nearly 29%, which is one third, have less than $500 saved in an emergency savings fund. Financial advisors say working with a financial planner and creating a long-term plan for saving more and spending less is a great starting point. They can help you map it all out. And that's key when working toward building that backup fund and ultimately tackling any debt you may have accrued. Live in Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News, Today in AZ.